Garm got billions from the feds targeting conservatives using your tax dollars, folks. This is another evolving story. I stay pretty up on things, but I'd not heard of GARM, which stands for Global Alliance for Responsible Media. Frankly, folks, in 2024, anytime I read something that was set up for responsible media, I start smelling a rat. A new report by the Foundation for Freedom Online claims that four of the six largest global advertising agencies have received billions of dollars from the federal government. GARM is a project of the World Federation of Advertisers, WFA, which accounts for 90% of ad spending worldwide. Hey, maybe this needs to be under a monopoly investigation, hint, hint. The four agencies, IPG, Omicron, WPP, and Publicis Group, were shown to have received U.S. taxpayer dollars. A recent report by the House Judiciary Committee revealed that GARM has used its influence over internet revenue streams to pressure platforms, including threats against Twitter X, Spotify, and non-establishment media. I guess that's Newsmax and OAN and some of those folks. In a country that frequently claims superiority over the rest of the world due to the First Amendment to the Constitution, the suppression of conservative speech seems like a serious violation. And of course, the Biden-Harris crew keep claiming that Trump is the one to worry about regarding freedom. Hmm. So Elon Musk sued Garm for effectively an illegal boycott of his Twitter X and other conservative media. Well, the brave people behind Garm just shut it down. It seems it was legit. Wouldn't it stand up and fight? Yes. Thank you.